We talk a lot about water on this show, and for a very good reason. It covers most of our planet. Every living being needs it, and there just isn't enough clean water to go around. Now, when it comes to drinkable water, there's one woman who wrote the book on it. And actually, it's her book that can make the water drinkable. Here's Allie Ward to explain. H2O, agua, shui. No matter how you say it, it's water. And even though 71% of the Earth's surface is covered with it, hundreds of millions of people on the planet are still in desperate need of this basic necessity for survival. Nearly 800 million people worldwide do not have access to clean water, and 3.4 million people die each year due to consumption of unclean water. This is Teresa Dankovich, and she used her years of chemistry knowledge to the manifest result of a unique clean drinking water solution. I made my way to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where I met up with Teresa at Carnegie Mellon University. She showed me her lab and her invention, the Drinkable Book. The Drinkable Book is both a collection of water filters and an instruction manual about how and why you need to clean drinking water. Filter papers themselves kill bacteria and will help prevent the spread of waterborne illness. A lot of times people just take water directly from the river and drink it, and that can have diseases like E. coli, cholera, giardia. So how many of these water filters are in the book? There are 50 filters in the book. And how much water does that filter? Each one does 100 liters of water, so it's enough water for a family about a year, for one individual as much as four years. Usable in almost any vessel, the filter, designed by Teresa in partnership with a nonprofit called Water is Life, is easily used, like this. Impure water is poured through, and soon the filtered water is available to drink. The bacteria are killed to 99.9999%. And it's this beautiful, almost sepia yeah. color. What yeah. is that from? This color is from silver nanoparticles, which are on the surface of the fibers and are there because they kill bacteria. So contaminated water hits yeah. the filter, the yeah. silver nanoparticles kill the bacteria, yeah. and then the water that's coming through is safe to drink. That's right. Each filter on each page informs readers about good hygiene and water safety. You've got this in English, you yeah. have it in some local languages, yeah. and then you're also developing something more like a pictogram, right? Right, yeah. Not everyone is literate around the world. We recognize that this should be more universal. So one of the next steps we're gonna do is to work with graphic designers to come up with various pictograms that are easy to understand for anybody. Like for instance, this top one, that there's the unhappy water drop. Then it goes through the paper and it's a happy water drop. So it's safe. <laughs> I feel like everyone is fluent in emoji pretty yeah, much, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> for Teresa, this is the culmination of many years of research coming to life in the form of a silver, drinkable, and potentially life-saving, extraordinary book.